welcome back to redirecting what is going on family same old same old I'm gonna be reading a story submitted by sister CC again where another black doctor has had her credentials questioned while trying to help a passenger on a Delta Airlines um, the article is on the Atlanta Black Star and here it goes it says a doctor says she was racially profiled aboard a Delta Airlines flight this week when two flight attendants doubted her ability to aid a sick passenger. Dr. Fatima Cody Stanford, a physician in obesity medicine, said she was on a flight from Indianapolis to Boston on Tuesday when the passenger beside her became panicked. Okay, without hesitation, she began trying to calm the passenger but was interrupted by a mere flight attendant who walked over to check the situation. Stanford, who works at Harvard Medical School and Massachusetts General Hospital, said the attendant asked her for her medical license, which she showed to confirm her that she was indeed a doctor. That didn't seem to be enough, however, as a second attendant came over moments later and asked to see her credentials again she said, I just talked to the first attendant, and she said, you're not really a doctor. You're just a head doctor. Stanford recalled and said, excuse me? What do you mean by that? To which she replied, oh, so you're not really an MD, are you? That's what I mean, flight attendant. You don't, mm, you, mm, 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 you're a flight attendant, and you're questioning a doctor as to whether or not she's a doctor and you're thinking head doctor means nothing? How do you become a head doctor if you're not first a doctor? Anyway, let me continue on. Ironically, Stanford had just attended a conference on medical bias two weeks prior where she spoke with another doctor, OBGYN Tamika Cross, y'all remember that case, right? Who suffered similar experience, a similar experience with Delta and was blocked from providing care to a white passenger who fell ill. Boston 25 reported backlash over the 2016 incident prompted the airline to change its policy. Nixing the requirements for flight attendants to verify the credentials of medical professionals offering assistance. Stanford called the ordeal bewildering and took to Twitter to voice her concerns. I am very disappointed at your policies on diversity have not led to any change, she wrote, tagging Delta directly. As a black woman doctor who showed my medical license to help a passenger on your flight, your flight attendant still did not believe I was a physician. In a follow-up tweet, the doctor noted that the fact that her accomplishments and credentials did not shield racism, Delta tweeted back at Stanford apologizing for her frustration over the incident. Please know that Delta does not condone discrimination for any reason, and we take your comments very seriously, the airline wrote. We're looking in further into the situation and we'll be reaching out to you directly. Okay, Stanford told CNN an exec executive assistant from the company contacted her and confirmed an investigation was underway. In a statement, a Delta spokesperson, Anthony Black, explained that according to the flight crew's account, they initially misread the credentials offered by the doctor and went to confirm her specific medical discipline. We are following up with the crew to ensure a proper policy is followed, Black added. Dr. Stanford's care for the passenger remained uninterrupted throughout the duration of the medical issue. We thank her for her medical assistance and are sorry for any misunderstanding that may have occurred. Now, they needed to reconfirmed so that means there was something going on with their mental capacity not hers you see they needed to reconfirm because they misread her credentials they misread her credentials so it sounds like an issue with them so maybe delta needs to make sure that their flight attendants are literate and able to read and comprehend what they are seeing right before their eyes. You see, the problem always have to fall on us, it seems, 
and there's always the excuse as to why this was happening or that was happening. But as we see, these people are coming undone. I continue to say this in many of my broadcasts that they are coming undone. It is too much for them to see that there are black doctors or black people who know how to function in society without their help. That we're not sitting in the corner waiting for our next set of instructions from them. And so it's unfathomable to a flight attendant that you can have a black female doctor. Wow. Who to funk it? <laughs> okay, family. I know, I know. I just had to throw that in there because these people are be becoming more and more undone by the minute. And it's almost laughable, almost laughable. You have to laugh to keep from crying because it is just, uh, it's amazing to me that they continue to go deeper and deeper into this spiritual debt by doing the things that they are doing. But as long as many of us are able, we are going to keep shining the spotlight on this madness so that we can wake up the sleepers, okay? That is what we are doing, waking up the sleepers, those who pretend like they don't know that these things are happening. That is what we are here for, to ensure that you do. And with that, I will say shalom. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.